Sex outside of marriage is dangerous, and we're not even supposed to know what sex feels like until. So there's this comment that he gave saying that how sex is dangerous if you're not married, and how usually marriage is supposed to be bounded with sexual chemistry. And because you guys know my name and you know my face, and you know I'm a sex therapist too, and I'm a marriage counselor also, and I'm a real life woman too, so you know I want to speak about it you know, in a godly way and in a spiritual way also what sex really means for each other, both ways, in the spiritual terms too. So, um, yes, sex is bounded once you get married because sex is not supposed to give in to everybody around the block in order for you to know the love that you have in you to carry in you, you know, to give to another partner that you so chosen to be with. Like, yeah, sex is not one of those cat and mouse types of games. Sex is more of a viewpoint where when you know the person you want to be with, you give it up because you feel free to give it up. You feel like you love this person enough to give it up. You don't have to be forced to give your virginity card up. You don't have to feel forced to say yeah, yes to every man's proposal to get with you. You don't have to, just like men don't have to say every proposal, just to make a woman agree with them also. It's like, well, can we have sex? Can we get around? Can we mess around? Like, no. I'm telling you as a therapist that looking into you as a strengthable character that you are, men and women, that you do not have to follow the men agenda of slave masters in order to know what worth you actually have in yourself. You know, so you don't have to go feel like I'm feeling pressured. Like, yes, remember, everything's in God's universal way of teaching at the end of the day. The man you first got with and the man you stayed with. It's all a decidity of God's command for you to know. You know, God reveals lessons and actions of lessons. So you may learn and shape yourself each day. That's as a life purpose and as a life coach. I speak like that, okay? So, you know, it's like where you are today is the one partner you got because of where you are today. It's not always bad. There's a reason for every God's blessing and lesson. It's each lesson and each blessing that he gave unto you is supposed to build you up. But being sexually bounded when you do get married is another action that God requested for you to know you found the one for the potential and you found your worth of knowledge, man. The one who seeks out your potential and seeks out their potential. That's all sex is supposed to be, and that's how marriage is supposed to be, too.